Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome to our first Madden 21 Superstar KO gameplay. Of course, Superstar KO was the new game mode added a couple of months after Madden 20 released, and it ended up being a great, fun, and quick, casual mode where you draft a couple of NFL superstars slash celebrities, and the players that you draft spend the entire game with their X factors activated. The rules of Superstar KO are about about the same you have one drive on offense one drive on defense you have to go for two point conversions and the overtime is tug of war overtime as you see we draft Tyreek Hill one of the couple of new changes is the player pool there are new x-factor players like Tyreek Hill and you definitely want to get the cheetah when you see him because of course 99 speed we get Aaron Rodgers at the quarterback position you see there are a couple of new x-factors in the game like Bobby Wagner with avalanche so we're gonna grab b-wags here and see what that avalanche is all about you see your opponent's team once again before you load in my opponent also thinking about the 99 speed of Tyreek Hill so we got to worry about that as we start off on defense now one of the coolest things about Superstar KO was you got to draft a couple of celebrities like Lil Yachty DJ Khaled Snoop Dogg the entire Migos and you got to have a couple of celebrity coaches as my opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar here Darius Slay's not gonna let him get away with that but yeah you got to have DJ Khaled and Lil Yachty as coaches from what I can see so far there are no celebrities in Madden 21 Superstar KO at this point but you know surely we can hope that they are added in throughout the year because that was one of the best parts about KO was playing with Snoop Dogg at wide receiver like come on who doesn't want to do that in the meantime we have to settle for the likes of Tyler Lockett as we Eventually try to work Tyreek Hill into this game, trying to get a downfield shot, but Rodgers is awkwardly sacked right there. Ends up working out for my opponent as the pass rushes in, but Tyreek Hill is quicker. Downfield, over the linebacker, in the end zone, it's the Cheetah. That's a game winner. We don't need the two-point conversion because we got the stop on defense. That's the game. We move on, and of course, there are six rounds of drafting. There are four games to be played max if you keep on winning out. And it looks like Mike Evans is on the board. We got Kittle once again, man. Like, maybe we do take Kittle this time. But Mike Evans, ultra rare. The uh, same rating system is in from last year where you have common, rare, and ultra rare. And, of course, you know, the rarer the player, the more abilities they get. Superstar slash X Factors. So... You definitely want to keep that in mind when you're drafting. Aaron Rodgers' game were 100% worked out for us there because that should have been a pick, but it was dropped. Tyreek Hill's not going to drop this pass. He goes all the way for the touchdown. You don't even draft Tyreek for his X Factor or rack him up because it's nothing too special. You just want that speed, right? As we look over to Hill, but Rodgers leads that one out of bounds, and because of that... Two-point conversion, unsuccessful. We leave the window open for my opponent to win on this drive. Awkward play there. I don't know why Bobby Wagner didn't crack his skull if we're being completely real. Instead, Michael Thomas proves he cannot be guarded right now. So we're going to have to switch up the defensive scheme underneath that. Zach Ertz! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I bet it's William Jackson providing the nice hit. That's going to be Micah Hyde providing the nice interception. And Hyde swerving Jackson and going all the way. Micah Hyde will not be caught. This is a completely meaningless pick six. We could have gotten down and it would have the same effect as far as the end result of the game. But, I mean, of course we're going to take that back for six, right? So, unfortunately, right now, Superstar KO is a little bit bugged where sometimes you could draft a player and their X Factor will not be activated for the game, which is a little bit saddening. But it's better than the way Superstar KO was yesterday. Yesterday, I tried to record a Superstar KO video for you guys, but literally no one had their X Factors activated. So this game mode is a little bit buggy right now, but hopefully by the time the game fully releases on, I believe, August 25th, they'll have Superstar KO you know fully fixed up I believe my opponent had Lamar Jackson but it was hard to tell because he didn't have his x-factor of trust going as that is definitely an x-factor activated on Danielle Hunter so now it's third down and 14 and once again Gambler helping us out there because these are blatant should be interceptions being thrown by Aaron Rodgers but it's all good. We get the first down because we get to live to play another down. There, and while we're getting the catch, and we're going to have to go underneath the use check. At some point, we got to get Tyreek Hill involved in this game. Maybe it's this play. Maybe not. Oh, yes, sir. 
Tyreek Hill finding the crease, and Aaron Rodgers with that gunslinger zips it into Hill for the touchdown, and now the two-point conversion open. That's the fellow Green Bay Packer, Aaron Jones, working the middle of the field. This is Derrick Henry. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, Derrick Henry has freight train, so trying to tackle Derrick Henry with a defensive back was never going to work. Here is, is that Aaron Rodgers on my opponent's team? Either way, that's Tyreek Hill for the easy touchdown. As you guys may have noticed, I came out in cover two to prevent that from happening. But Micah Hyde fell asleep at the wheel. Now the two-point conversion to send the game to Tug of War OT is successful. Tyreek Hill, the cheetah is what this is all about. So yeah, he does have Aaron Rodgers, but I don't think his Aaron Rodgers is activated. It's just completely random where sometimes the players don't are not activated right now. Like I said, hopefully that's fixed for once the game truly releases because this is just the EA Access version of Madden 20. This is just Darren Waller underneath, but we got to take what we can get because, of course, the way the tug of war works is whoever has more positive yardage by the end of these three OT plays, barring a touchdown, ends up winning the game. So now my opponent flips the field position here via a uh, curl route to Tyreek Hill. Once again, we got defensive backs not guarding Tyreek Hill. Like, let's step up a little bit here. Maybe we get our own Tyreek Hill involved. Oh, but Tyreek's being covered all over the place. But there's Tyler Lockett underneath the speed of the cheetah, opening up other receivers. There's Lockett. Now we are back in plus territory as Rodgers. He's got the time. That is Tyreek Hill. Goodbye. Ball game. The cheetah ends it. Ah, maybe we should have just triple covered. Tyreek Hill. You know, I figured my safety would come down, but Micah Hyde, he wasn't really feeling that game, I suppose. As a result, we got to draft a brand new team. Once you lose, it's over. So, we're going to hop back into another draft here. One more. We're going to get Sean McVay's record breaker team. So, the teams are all the same besides the Lil Yachty backyard football team and the DJ Khaled Florida Keys are not in right now, at least. So there's only six teams available as opposed to a normal eight. Once again, I don't know if that's going to be switched up once the game actually comes out. Maybe they have to get the rights for like Lil Yachty or Khaled or who, whatever new celebrities they try to add in. But I mean, I'm sure they're going to add some, man. Like Snoop, Snoop Dogg is like a big Madden player. So surely they'll get Snoop Dogg in at some point. We can hope. And when they are added into the game, I will let you guys know because we will try to get Snoop on our team or whatever celebrities are in Superstar KO just like we did last year. As you see, we have an interesting decision here because we are either going to be down a quarterback or, you know, we're going to be down a Julio Jones, an ultra rare Julio Jones. And at the end of the day, I decided, you know what, let's get Julio, let's get two double me receivers. Having double me in Superstar KO last year was very helpful as to Sean Gibson is very helpful on the defensive end, trying to go all the way, but Lamar Jackson is able to contain. I tried to dive into the end zone with Deshaun Gibson, and that might have cost me because Gibson is already a slow poke, and then when he tried to dive in the end zone, man, it was literally in slow motion while Lamar was going full speed, so that just did not work out for us. Nonetheless, we get the stop on defense, and now we got to try to score on offense. So far, so good. We're looking downfield, and that is a wide open DeAndre Hopkins, he has double me, which definitely works when no one is covering him. So that's going to be a game winner right there so far. The DeAndre Hopkins, Julio Jones pairing is working out very well for us. Now we need to get some defense, get some help for Derwin James, and we have an interesting choice of players here. We got the Marcus Lawrence, Chandler Jones, Von Miller, all great pass rushers, but I think... Aaron Donald may have to be our choice here. They're all rare, so it all comes down to whatever player you want. I'm not quite sure what this Blitz X Factor does. Uh, the description says, like, all resistance bars are white from offense alignment. Like, what the hell does that mean, right? But that's some nerd talk for Madden. I don't know what that means. What I do know is that DeAndre Hopkins, with a step, with double me, easy money, play some better defense, my guy, or else you're going to be in trouble. Dak Prescott, the quarterback of the record breakers, and he... Uh, nearly threw an interception. I thought Julio would be able to snag that one. Maybe not. Let's try it again. This time successful. I guess I had to pass lead the ball a little bit more up so Julio can get his double me. Wild animation going. D-hop fade route. Oh, my. Nuke is Literally on fire right now and helping us out. We get the eight points. So now all the pressure on my opponent to produce on this drive to get a touchdown and the two-point conversion. It looks like he also has the Sean McVay record-breaking team. He has Russell Wilson at quarterback, but it's hard to tell because, once again, we got a player who is not on fire. That is 
and X Factors. So that just goes to the bugginess. I almost didn't want to, you know, show you guys Superstar KO until they fully fixed it. But, you know, I figured some people want to see what Superstar KO was looking like because this may be some people's main mode. Like, who knows? As we have Russell Wilson doing who knows what. That's going to be a flag on his team for throwing the ball, waiting too long before throwing the ball on the RPO, and that's going to be a penalty that's declined because my opponent put his hands in the cookie jar. That's going to be an interception, so all sorts of fails right there. We move on. There went James, definitely a nice asset for this defense so far, and we can get to continue building the defense with Bobby Wagner, I think. Even though I feel like TJ Watt might be the smarter pick for us with the unstoppable force X-Factor or even Cam Jordan, I grab Bobby Wagner. I want to see exactly what this avalanche is all about like what, what are we doing are we actually just kicking people's butts and forcing fumbles anytime bobby wagner lays a, a hit well unfortunately we are not going to find out because bobby wagner will not have his x factor activated for this game because of that bug i told you guys about oh that's not a bug that's just deandre hopkins who 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 next play julio oh trying to get just a nice one-two combo into the end zone. But Julio did not get both feet in bounds as my opponent blitzes with Adams. It's picked up. Hopkins! Oh! Touchdown! And he hangs on after the late hit. Yo, that was easily double me, if not triple me, working out for us as we're going to try to once again set up the fade. This time we'll let Julio Jones do some work. Maybe not. Because Kyle Fuller absolutely clamped our on-fire receiver. Okay, so maybe those fade routes aren't as good as I thought they were, or maybe we just got to throw it to DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know. Nonetheless, we got to play some defense here. That's Lamar Jackson on fire, and of course, Lamar Jackson's X-Factor prevents him from being able to fumble the ball. So you can be as reckless as you want running the ball with Lamar in Superstar KO as long as he's not glitched out and doesn't have his X-Factor, of course. So. Yeah, here we are close to the red zone with my opponent now in the red zone with Julio trying to get into the end zone. He's putting all the pressure on us with all of his star players and the biggest star of them all, Lamar Jackson, nearly got in. Next play. Woo. Thankful we get this swap from the defensive back. It's now fourth down and goal from the two-yard line. Lamar is looking. He's not taking off. Now under pressure. And that pass is not going to be accurate. And that is a game-winning turnover on downs for us. You'll notice that Bobby Wagner is not even on the stage with the rest of his X-Factors because I guess he doesn't have his X-Factor activated. So that's definitely a glitch. We should have had five teammates there. We have two versions of Lamar Jackson available to us. We're going to take Lamar, even though Tyreek and uh, apparently Keenan Allen with headphones and Russell Wilson are on the board. It's just praying that if we draft this version of Lamar Jackson, he has all of his abilities. Because for some reason, that's something you have to worry about. As we get to what is technically the championship game of Superstar KO, we start off on defense going against Tom Brady, who has nothing to his name, but an interception to Derwin James. Looking for Barkley, it's Derwin with the INT. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar. Now all we have to do is win the game by getting a touchdown. Unfortunately, Lamar Jackson has no, not even superstar abilities. Holy yo! Oh, man, could not make the catch. So that's going to count as at least two defenders nearby. Lamar rolling. Lamar's still fast, so he can create some devastation. But it's going to be all about Julio and DeAndre Hopkins right now. Next play, Lamar downfield. Hopkins got it. And DeAndre Hopkins all the way to the three-yard line. Let's give one of our receivers a chance. Oh, that's not one of them. That's Harry the Hitman with the interception. And we are going to tug of war over time so my opponent actually ran commit and my opponent actually dm'd me on twitter after this game hitting me like oh we just played in superstar ko he told me he ran commit by accident there so um hey sometimes <laughs> you uh get to make some good defensive strategies by accident right because that completely caught both of us off guard including myself so he starts off the ot by getting himself a nice couple of yards we're gonna try to get the yardage right back to oh kenny stills uh, using his head too much as we have Jimmy Graham down the middle of the field and now we are in grave danger of losing this game and you notice on the previous play my opponent like what could triple covered both DeAndre Hopkins and Julio Jones he's not gonna let double me beat him it looks like so we gotta let someone else make a play as Lamar Jackson under pressure throws it to Mark Ingram the Ravens connection 
working decent for us. We needed to get some yardage back. We couldn't go for the home run there simply because it was not open. So in the meantime, let's try to play some defense here and maybe force a turnover. As long as we don't give up the touchdown, which we will not, unless Saquon Barkley did something crazy there. So now Saquon still gets a gain of 10, so we need to do something spectacular. We need to get past the 50-yard line. Don't need a touchdown, just need to get past the 50 to win, I believe, as we go for Julio! And that's going to be intercepted by Eddie Jackson. That's going to be the way the game ends. My opponent just goes out of bounds there, doesn't want to try to take it back for six. He knows he's got the win in the bag, and unfortunately, we end up losing the championship game in overtime. Once again, I think that post right if I pass it a little bit more up, might help out. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all just having fun in Superstar KO, right? So uh, GG to the opponents in this one. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. Subscribe so for some more Madden 21 gameplays, whatever game mode you like. We'll check it out. And on that note, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching as always.